Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. I'm going to kick this video off discussing something actually official from AMD. The company have released an image which gives us an update to the Ryzen 7000 series roadmap. Now we can see that AMD are going to be releasing these in different segments. The first is Enthusiast Desktop, then there will be Extreme. I don't know why I said all that, that gaming laptops. And then finally, there will be thin and light gaming. Now, discussing quickly the Enthusiast desktop, there's not a huge amount really to say here that we don't know. Raphael, naturally, will be the AM5 platform and will include DDR5 technology along with PCIe Gen 5. By the way, there has been a little bit of confusion whether DDR4 is going to be present on AM5. And to my understanding, no, it is not. So... If you want to upgrade from AM4 to AM5, you're going to need to basically get new memory as well. You will also notice that there is extreme gaming and thin light gaming. And this is going to be um, taken care of with two specific ranges of processors. Well, APUs actually. The first is the Dragon range and the second is Phoenix. Now, if you've been following the channel for the last couple of weeks, you'll know that I've discussed Phoenix a lot. And actually, if we take a little gander to the right, you'll see that Dragon range, new for 2023. Number one choice for mobile gaming dominance. Newest Zen 4 architecture achieving the pinnacle of gaming performance, highest core, thread, and cache ever for a mobile gaming CPU. Creator and productivity performance. Um, so basically, this thing is going to be ridiculously, ridiculously fast. Now, Phoenix will be discussing for just a moment longer. So for my previous information I actually leaked from slides, you'll notice that my info actually was correct here with Phoenix. And AMD here are stating that we're going to be seeing somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 to 45 watts, which again actually matches perfectly with what I've stated in these leaks. So eight cores, 16 threads is what I believe that we're looking um, at for Phoenix. So we're looking at a grand total of 1536 shaders for Phoenix, and these are going to run up to around 3 gigahertz. So honestly, this is going to be an awful lot of performance. To my personal understanding thus far, it should be able to outperform desktop products like the RTX 2060 and the RX 6500 XT without too much of a trouble at all, really. And Potentially, even we could be seeing performance of around RTX 3060 M. So ultimately, this is going to be totally and utterly just making, you know, low-end discrete GPUs just totally pointless. Now, we also have from AMD confirmation of Dragon Range. Now, Dragon Range is also has been known as Raphael H. Now, in my personal information that I've leaked previously. I was told that it goes up to 16 cores, and given the fact that AMD here are stating that, yeah, it's got the highest core and thread count ever, as well as cache, this does seem to add some credibility to my previous leak. 45 to 60 watts is what I was told here, and, well... AMD are stating 55 watts plus. Of course, this is all going to be configuration dependent. Quite frankly... AMD are just going to absolutely be hammering, um, you know, the mobile segment with uh, NVIDIA really kind of just struggling to get any grip in the lower end once these products release. And it's, of course, going to be even more interesting because ultimately Intel are going to do much the same. I feel that over the next couple of years... Mobile gaming is going to be in a very different place, particularly when we start to move on to Strix Point later on. And one last thing that we're going to touch on rather briefly, Underfox3 on Twitter, who is the master of finding some rather interesting patents and other research papers, has, well, found a research paper. Now, this one's particularly of interest because it actually seems to have an NVIDIA researcher which has contributed to the paper, as you can see at the top here. Now, honestly, this paper itself is quite lengthy. I will leave a link to both uh, Underfox's Twitter account as well as the actual paper itself. But essentially here, one of the highlights according to Underfox is SIMD2 provides a 38.59 times speed up and more than a 10.63 on average over-optimized CUDA programs with only a 5% full chip area overhead. 
Now, this is actually going to be presented pretty soon in an actual event. So it's going to be held between the 18th and the 22nd of June. And so obviously that means that we're probably going to hear a lot more details about this then. But rather interestingly, it does seem to be implied that this could be to do with the actual tensor cores of the GPUs themselves. And if nothing else, it's rather interesting that we're going to be seeing this. Now, whether this actually materializes into an actual architecture, who really knows? Because even with a patent or a research paper, as everyone knows at this point, it doesn't necessarily become a product. Although we have seen, of course, research papers become products or at least become, let's say, the basis of a product. So it's quite interesting. And again, I would encourage you guys to check it out. I will be covering it more extensively when perhaps NVIDIA or someone else discusses it. With that said, though, it's just been a really quick update video because... Um, yeah, I just wanted to really discuss this roadmap because a number of people were actually DMing me about this. And uh, yeah, with that said, hopefully you have enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.